Breaking news, Femi Adesino explains, see why Northern elders are angry with Buhari. Well, this is the presidential uh, spokesperson who recently insulted an elder in Yoruba land. He's from the Southwest. And according to, if you know the Southwest very well, they are big on respect, especially for the elderly. But since addition or got that position to defend Buhari, he threw caution to the wind. And then um, it's a dog that wants to get lost. That's how it begins. The master will blow the whistle again and again. Guess what? The dog will not hear. It will continue to run away. And finally, there it is. The dog is lost. That is the case of Femi Adishino. Recently, we, produced, we reported to you that the Northern Elders have appealed to President Muhammad Buhari to honorably, honorably resign before they take the matter any further. Buhari replied them saying, I go nowhere. I resign not. Femi Adishino is explaining why. The Northern Elders are angry with Buhari. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Thank you. The special advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Femi Adishino, has knocked the Northern Elders Forum for asking President Muhammad Buhari to resign over his handling of insecurity challenges prevailing the country. This is as he also s alleged that the Northern Elders' position is born, was born out of members' frustration after they allegedly failed to be part of Buhari's administration. Additional revealed this in an article titled Hiding Under the Umbrella of Insecurity and shared on his official Facebook page on Thursday. The Punch report that the Northern Elders Forum had on Tuesday asked President Muhammad Buhari to resign for failing to provide security in the country. The Forum made a demand in a statement by his spokesperson, Dr. Hassan Baba Hamed. He said it was the pointed that after seven seven years of being in office, Buhari still have no answer to security challenges across the country. The statement reads in part, the administration of President Muhammad Buhari does not appear to have answers to the challenges of security to which he has been exposed. He came in 2015 telling Nigerians that he's an ex-military guy and will end this within a few months. Nigerians believed and they voted for him. Anybody who tells him he has failed, he goes after them vehemently and tries to expunge them. Recently, an imam from the Abuja mosque was removed because he told Buhari, you are a failure. We cannot continue to live and die in the, in the dictates of killers, kidnappers, rapists, and son, sundry criminals group that have deprived of us of our right to live in peace and in security. Our constitution has provision for leaders to voluntarily step down if they, if they feel the challenges or they have personal challenges that prove incapable and they feel incapable of leading. But reacting to the Northern Elders Forum position in his article, Femi Adishino alleged that the Northern Elders was people with self-seeking individuals who have hoped will get the better of the administration after President Muhammad Buhari's electoral victory in 2015. And so, feeling frustrated, want to do everything to make sure Buhari's name is tarnished. He writes, The point of interest today is the call for President Muhammad Buhari to resign over the country's security challenges. The latest coming from the so-called Northern Elders Forum, a group I once described as generals without troop. The forum is largely made up of angry, bitter, self-seeking individuals who have through thought that they will be leading President Muhammad Buhari by the nose when he emerged in 2015. In fact, the key personalities in the group make efforts to be part of the administration, and when it became unsuccessful, they became angry, and here you see their reaction being venged out. Well, people are genuinely dying. People are calling out that the Northern Elders should, are calling out that Buhari should resign. And what is addition of saying? He said the Northern Elders go nowhere because they are feeling frustrated. Buhari did not include them. So you mean that the people that are quiet are quiet because they are those that are in Buhari's administration because they are enjoying some form of money. Because when you are part of the administration, what are you enjoying? Bottom line money, yes? So you are quiet and you are continue to allow the death toll to rise. Now, everyone and anyone who is in a position to be able to speak and to be able to give direction and to be able to bring this to an end, you know, reasonably to a large extent, 
and you do nothing. Do you know what, you know, in court, there is a crime called the accomplished, okay? That person, you did not, you may not put your hands, probably, let's say murder or court or something. You did not, you did not go there when they committed the murder. You did not uh, raise your hand. You did, you did nothing, but I'll tell you your crime. When they were discussing it from the very first instant, when they were saying, uh, we are going, they were going to go to this person's house by 4 a.m., we'll take him on her, or her on her ways. We're going to make sure what we'll do, we'll cut him to pieces. I know that um, his friend will be home. I will knock, you will go in, you will pretend, and you were there. They are making all these plans to eliminate another individual. You were there, you sat down. You, you were there. Maybe you're not even, you're not even answering to the, to the discussions. You're not even saying a word, but you were there. You sat down or you were listening for some, for whatever reason you had opportunity, you were privy to have an inclination or an understanding that such is being planned. Okay. That could have possibly affect the life of an individual. And guess what? You did nothing. You did nothing. You did not warn the individual. You did not report it to the police. You did nothing. And guess what? As they planned it by 4 a.m., truly, really speaking, the deed was done. Okay? And you come back and say, ah, and I was there when uh, uh, blah, 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 we are planning in the court of law. When blah, 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 blah have been caught, okay? And they have been, um, and judgment is being passed. You will have your own share of judgment being passed on you. You will have your own share. You will have your own share. And maybe you cannot say to the judge, ah, but I did not do anything. No. What's my crime? What did I do? What did I do? Listen, the judge will just look at you and say, you knew that this was going to go down. You say, yes. You were there the day they were having this plan. You say, yes. What did you do about it? And it's not my business. So I said nothing. Really? Did you know that you saying something would have saved this life? Said, yes. So you did nothing. Said, yes. Okay. For doing nothing, next time you will learn. Okay? For doing nothing, that's why you are being punished. Can you see that you become an accomplice to a crime? Yes. Not because you committed a crime yourself, but because you had opportunity to report such an, a wicked crime. And guess what? You did nothing. You stood back and you allowed it to happen. So, in law, it is a crime. In law, it is a crime. So every one of you who have a, a who have opportunity to solve the situation and do nothing will face it. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.